cults, cliques, clans, whatever you want to call them, here's two movies about them, mostly. Ever think about the second lady to play Savick in Star Trek? Me too, all the time. Well, this movie stars Kelly Curtis, not Robin Curtis, who played Savick. Sorry, I'd written that first part before realizing my mistake, and, well, whatever. Hey, no, wait, here's a fun fact. Kelly Curtis is Jamie Lee Curtis's older sister. Phew, there, save the intro. The Sect was originally released in the U.S. as The Devil's Daughter, and in Japan it was released as Demons 4. It's not that. But we begin this Dario Argento Presents follow-up to the church in Southern California in 1970, where filthy hippies are living their filthy hippie life, but then Evil Jesus shows up to spout Rolling Stones lyrics at them. My name's Damon. Glad to see you. Maybe you know my name, but what's confusing you is the purpose of my game. Like to see you. Maybe you know my name. But what's confusing you is the purpose of my game. The Rolling Stones, Sympathy for the Devil. Don't you guys get it? Shortly thereafter, Evil Jesus, who was also the lead actor in The Church, the dude who rips his own heart out, murders all the filthy hippies with his gang of bikers. Okay, I thought, I'm, I'm into this, let's do the evil biker cult thing. But then cut to Germany, 1991. Herbert Lahm is the aging leader of the biker doomsday cult and has decided that 1991 is the time for the doomsday. Through a series of events, he ends up in the home of Not Savick and he puts a bug in her nose. has a weird dream, we follow a bunny rabbit around for a long time, and blue stuff starts to show up in the lady's water supply. Turns out this cult is using her to birth the Antichrist or something. I was unfairly harsh towards the church in retrospect because in comparison to the sect, the church is action packed. This thing is slow. So slow in fact that I essentially gave up around the hour mark, especially after seeing that there was another hour to go. I did look up at one point and see a lady almost get killed by a handkerchief like she's Frank Drebin. So that's something. Also a man gets on a motorcycle, rides through fire, and then explodes. The Scorpion Blu-ray features interviews with the film's writer-director and also with Evil Jesus, if you're interested. Now, going into Devil's Due, I had no idea it was going to be a found footage thing. I don't have anything against the genre per se, it was just a surprise. Through this footage that someone has found, I guess, we meet a young couple as they get married and then set out on their honeymoon. While on their honeymoon, they do the stupidest thing you could possibly do in a strange land which is go off with a cab driver to a secret nightclub way outside of town that nobody knows about. They drink, get drugged, and then the woman is dragged into a spooky ritual, all of which is captured on camera. They return home not knowing anything had happened, and soon after, guess what? She's pregnant. And so ultimately, 99% of the first half hour is just wedding pregnancy stuff, which isn't all that interesting, especially in this camcorder format. However, the bits of the scene they show us when the spooky thing impregnates her made me laugh out loud, so there's that. Anyway, of course she's got a devil baby inside her, and a cult of observers show up to spy on them to make sure everything goes well. Also, she starts to show signs of spookiness, eating raw meat in the grocery store, carving symbols into the nursery floor, you know, the usual spookiness. So the movie cheats, of course. Most of these movies do. People film what no one would ever be filming. Also, it pulls in camera shots from other people and places in the world. So who found this footage? And then went out and grabbed a bunch of corresponding footage to edit together into a cohesive feature. The devil baby cult? Am I watching a recruitment video? Around the hour mark, there's a sequence where, again, I just laughed out loud at how silly it all was, but then the final shot of the sequence was pretty good. I mean, if this was some kind of sci-fi movie, it might be fascinating, but yet another Antichrist baby movie? Ugh. In most of these movies, no one ever goes back and watches anything they've recorded to help figure out what's going on. Surprisingly, in this one they do as the husband goes back and watches their honeymoon footage and sees exactly what's happened. Usually people just roll camera, record whatever random moments they can, put the camera away, and then pick it up later at a random time to record more. So if I have to say something nice, that's a good thing this movie does. 
In the end, though, Devil's Do is just dumb. I liked the hectic bits in the finale. I just wish they'd been in a better movie. At least the family dog lives. At least I think the family dog lives. Oh,